Pokemon is one of the biggest things to ever exist. Not just in video games, but in pop culture as a whole. Almost everyone knows what Pokemon is, and rightfully so. It's a phenomenon that took the world completely by surprise. It's a special kind of feeling you get when you play your first ever Pokemon game on your first handheld system. Just putting in hours and hours, getting invested in this huge world full of amazing creatures, wanting to become the very best. It's really hard to not like Pokemon. And the fans are a prime example of that, creating so many hacks and fan games throughout the years. And today, if you couldn't already guess, we're going to be taking a look at some of my favorites. Like Pokemon Ash Grey. It's a hack of Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green, but with everything being redone, and with Ash as our main hero. The game is created to follow the first few episodes of the Indigo League anime. The attention to detail here is amazing. Not one thing was left out. Everything from Ash waking up and being late, to running off to Professor Oak's lab for a Pokemon in his pajamas, stealing Misty's bike to rescue Pikachu, and the game even lets you select your starter Pokemon like Ash tries to do in the anime, just to have Professor Oak tell you that he's out of each one, granting you the Pikachu. Now that's funny. If you loved the anime and the first few episodes in particular, then you should definitely give this game a go. It'll have your nostalgia senses tingling. We have a really impressive fan game called Pokemon 3D. Let's just try and take a guess of what this could be. It's a recreation of Pokemon Gold and Silver with a first-person perspective. It's honestly one of the coolest fan games I've ever come across. Visually speaking, the game is very beautiful to just look at. The graphics stay true to the original Game Boy graphics. Everything is made up of sprites and pixel art. It's charming and should instantly hit you with a rush of nostalgia. All of the human characters, environments, and especially Pokemon look phenomenal. I mean, they look pretty simple. They look exactly like they did on their Game Boy counterparts. But whatever, that's not the point. The actual gameplay is still just basic Pokemon standard. You walk around the land, talk to random people, and of course, battle. It's a fun game to try out for yourself or show off to one of your friends. And I would totally love to show this off to a friend. If I had one! Sorry, what's the happy? Speaking of 3D Pokemon games, here's something that's definitely worth a look. Pokemon Generations. We immediately start off in a forest and are given control of a random Pokemon trainer. You can pick between a boy and a girl, so have fun. We have free range to travel wherever we want in this open world. In this sense, it definitely feels like a more traditional 3D RPG, in the sense that we have our main character who can walk around and interact with things on the overworld. We also have one Pokemon that's given to us as our starter, and it's Pikachu! On the overworld, you'll find various Pokemon wandering around and doing... Pokemon things. So naturally, we have to fight them! Instead of running into enemies and encountering them like you do in most RPGs, here, you actually have to throw your Pokeball towards the enemy. Out comes Pikachu, and now, you're no longer in control of the trainer, but instead, Pikachu! And now we're fighting! You're through! The battle system is done in real time, much like games in the Tales series. It's about as polar opposite as you can get from the traditional menu-based combat system that Pokemon is known for having. Essentially, it acts like a fighting game. It's obviously no Pokémon tournament. It honestly feels a little more like Pokémon Rumble. Overall, Pokémon Generations is a fantastic experience. It gives a new little twist on the Pokémon formula in a way that's never really been done or at least in a good way. Unfortunately, the game was abandoned and was never fully completed, but there's still plenty here for you to try out, and I really recommend that you do. Now let's quickly go over some silly Pokemon games. Like Pokemon Uncensored. The pedo bear over here should be a pretty good sign of what we're in for. But hey, it's Professor Oak. How's it going, buddy? Man, it's always great seeing you. Wait, what did you say? Ask for help or for okay, inappropriate. This world is inhabited by- oh my gosh, no! So if you couldn't already tell, this is Pokemon, just with a lot more vulgar language, dark jokes, drug use, and even some naughty visuals. But at the core, yeah. It is still just Pokemon. You battle, you explore, you collect gym badges, you do all of that. And not even all of the NPCs have something inappropriate to say. I don't get it.
Speaking of things I don't get, Moemon! Instead of actual Pokemon creatures, here are little girls, dressed up in Pokemon costumes. So, you know, if you're into that, great. Actually, no, no, that's not great. Stop playing this! Now, this next game is not good by any stretch of the imagination. It's just good to make fun of. That game, Pokemon Black and Blue. And what better way to start off any Pokemon game than this? Our beloved Pokemon beaten the hell up. Thanks, PETA. They're obviously trying to force the repetitive message that Pokemon is evil because, oh my goodness, you're making cute animals fight and then you're capturing them? How could you do that? However, I find it really funny how weak the Pokemon are in this game, and how submissive they are to just taking the beatings. Like, Pikachu has shocked Ash on so many occasions just because Ash wasn't that great of a trainer. So if Pikachu wanted to, he could easily send 10,000 volts of electricity throughout this guy's body and kill him. This game sucks! One freak out later. Alright, let's not end this video on a sour note. One more awesome Pokemon fan game. That game would be... Pokemon Type Wild, a completely fan-made 2D fighting game starring Pokemon characters. You have 10 different Pokemon to select from, and I think they did an excellent job of selecting the ones that they did. It plays like your everyday 2D fighter, like Mortal Kombat or Street Fighter. But what really blows me away with this game is how smooth and flawlessly everything was executed. The character designs and background designs of each stage are so beautifully done. It's professional-grade stuff. The animations are beyond perfect and fluid. It's all a treat to the eye. But what about the gameplay? It's awesome! Come on, look at it! Would you expect anything less? Every attack feels snappy and makes you feel really accomplished when you start hitting and landing combos. And that's really important for a fighting game to give you that kind of feeling. That feeling of, Ha! Take it! You're going down! This kind of quality is something that you would find in an actual retail game. So the fact that it's completely independent and fan-made proves the loyalty and love of the fans that the Pokemon franchise has created throughout the years. And that's all for today. If I left out your favorite Pokemon fan game or hack, then please leave it in the comments so I could check it out and play it. Or make a video on it, I don't know. So thank you for watching. Play some Pokemon, watch some Pokemon, do something with Pokemon. Because we all live in a Pokemon world.